sorry about that guys my phone um overheated literally um so i decided to come out back anyway it's quieter back here um so i wanted to just kind of continue in what i was saying is you know twelve hundred dollars is not really enough for anyone to live off of i know that there's a lot of people including myself with this stimulus check to help out helped out a lot you know i mean in a lot of ways this was what people needed to get by um that being said i think that we really need to acknowledge that in this day and age that we live in in this time that we live in things are not how they used to be um people are not how they used to be and that's another thing that i really think i want to touch on in this video is you know it's one thing for vloggers and other people um, famous people particularly to get online and to post about this that and the other and the importance of this that and the other and how you know um we need to stick together and do all this but the fact of the matter is um a lot of these people who are writing these posts and sharing these things live in a two million dollar mansion on the beach or live in a two dollar you know three million dollar compound in in colorado um who are financially set if anything were to occur in this world regardless of how our economy in america is so i think that it really is important for us to really as just citizens normal everyday citizens to really start loving one another taking the race card out of it because the enemy is working on and i'm gonna put a link in the description box below for my dad's channel um and some of the stuff that he talks about in relation to what the enemy is really trying to do here in this time that we are vulnerable as a nation um so check that video out he really does a great job of explaining this in much more biblical terms than i am right now and just really giving you the clean cut verses and revelations and, and and just explaining to you like this is what we're living right now and this is what's going on and we really need to start girding up our houses and that's something that i really wanted to touch on also in this video is that right now instead of focusing on the racial um barriers and issues that are going on um or quote unquote going on we really need to start looking at one another in our own families and rekindling our relationship with our families um I've made many videos in the past of talking about different when it's time to cut people out. I'm not necessarily talking about calling a bunch of people and, and, and apologize and doing all of that. Um, although if you feel like the Lord is putting that on your heart, I do encourage you that this is now the time to do it. Um, I think that as far as immediate households and immediate relationships, we really need to start looking at who is key in our lives and who we need to check on more often. Um, for instance, just to throw out some examples, um, I have been calling my niece every week, trying to call my grandmother every week, try, I'm now trying to call my dad every week, just trying to in, incorporate socialization into my daily life much more often than I did before. Um, and there's plenty of people who probably do that anyway, but uh, particularly for right now and what's going on, it's really imperative that we start really valuing and in being thankful for the key relationships in our lives, the true relationships in our lives. And if this COVID has taught us nothing else, it's that, you know, we need each other and we need our families and the family is really where all security comes from. And I think that it's very important um, during this time to just know that, to get that in your head that it's not the time now to be alone. Um, and that's, I think a big thing for me is in, in, in through everything that I've gone through in the last couple of years of my life we need to really be ready for whatever happens as far as revelations being enacted out and playing out we need to be more than a thousand times ready to stand for the Word of God and I think in a lot of ways that also falls into us really girding up our households making sure that if something happens to us today we are not the only Christian voice in our home Making sure that if something happens tomorrow, we are not the only um, Christian voice in our home, that the Holy Spirit is still able to move there through everyone. And, and by all means, God will move through anybody and everybody at any point in time. However, I think that it's very important that we acknowledge as the body of Christ, we are really living, moving vessels for the Holy Spirit. And in this time, we need to start living like that. Not just preaching it, not just saying it, but actually doing it and showing people in our households, showing people in our lives that we are children of God, that God is, is real and God is coming 
looking back and all that this is going this too shall pass all of this will pass no doubt all of this will pass with this coronavirus and everything that's going on you know this is this is something that is new and yes it's something we don't we're not very familiar with we don't have a lot of education on um, however that being said God is very very um, there's actually a Bob Marley song that quotes the Bible and in that song he directly says uh, basically don't worry about nuclear disaster because the word has to happen first and in praise God he was right the word has to happen first stop worrying about coronavirus stop worrying about the apocalypse stop worrying about World War three and in World War four whatever stop worrying about all of that because the the truth of the matter is the fact of the matter is God has the future of this world planned out and written out in Revelation um, I mean it's all here